is that? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, Something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. You know, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... What? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm-hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. doing here is that yours you bet it's mine i used to play ball with my dad all the time of course that was before he got too busy to hang out with me ah we'll save it for the couch right 
Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. Here, can you can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Ah, oh, damn. It's okay. I'm just... try again. Not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it this time. Oh, damn. It's okay. I'm just try again. Not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it this time. Whoa! That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Five, girl. Just, just joshing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were really freaked out. I was not scared. No, no, you just jumped because you wanted to squeeze in some aerobics. an a-hole, okay? I totally didn't jump. All I said was, what was that? Which is a totally normal reaction to hearing a super creepy noise in a super creepy basement. <laughs> Wait, okay, so you hear that too, right? Josh. What? That was something weirdly regular. No, not, nothing regular about it. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> what do you care, Freddy face? No, it's, it's probably just like not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Okay, wh whatever you say, madam. <laughs> nice, nice one. That was good. Wait, wait, why would you do that? There's all this 
cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor to it. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally bissed yourself. Josh. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. Okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Boy, oy, 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 oy. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Mm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Hello, Earth to Matt. You gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Here you are, madam. Why, thank you, sir. Um, yeah? Can I ask you something? Like, for real. What? Promise you won't get upset. Matt. I think, you know, like, in the future, if someone's, like, trying to push your buttons or whatever, maybe you should just try and, 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 and chill. Well, what are you trying to say now? This is my fault? No, no, that's that's not what I'm that's not what I mean. You know what? You're right. I gotta keep it together when I'm being attacked by stupid bitches. Doofus, come this way. I don't know if it's a good idea to leave this path here. Don't be a puss. Come on, it'll be worth it. You'll see. Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. It's no problem, babe. But you gotta remember, there's more to this guy than just being a lean, mean, luggage-lifting machine. You gonna back that up? All day. <laughs> what? All day. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? 
like, all day long. I was being, like, sexy. out here tonight. Wow. Yeah. It's so nice to be here with you, muscle man. Uh, I'm not all muscle. There are some brains in here, too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? What's so important in the bag, anyways? It's just my undies. The lacy ones. Well, hell, we don't need those. You don't want me to model them for you? I'm just gonna rip them off, anyways. Maybe I want to show them off. Puts me in a generous mood. Let's go get them. kisser on this thing. Dare to put your hand in it. Day, I wouldn't. Just slide it up in there. Ah! Emily! Emily! <laughs> gotcha, big dip. Jesus, you're ridiculous. Oh, come on. Who is that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal or... Do not like. <sighs> Here you are, madam. Thank you. Oh my, very impressive. Snowman. Uh, that was not there before. Is that a note? Oh. Uh. It's gotta be Chris. Or Josh. They're just trying to mess with us. Kind of uncool, guys. I don't like this. Me neither. Oh! Dad! What the hell's going on? What the hell did this? You know, I'm kind of not giving a shit about my panties anymore. I kind of just want to split. Agreed.
I would like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share this fear? No. Then how do you feel about people who are afraid? I see, well, Emily has quite a fear of failure. Do you feel bad for her? Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you made. Now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in greater need? Oh, well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entire. Pause menu. Button resume. Continue your story.